Hi, in this tutorial we will solve these five relational algebra exercises using the following database employees, projects, works on, and departments. So let's inspect the database that we have. We've got employees, employee ID, name, salary, department ID, manager ID. So the manager ID is the same as an employee ID, department ID is here and it is in the location. Projects PID says here the PID is also the name of the project, has a description, and then employees, we get identification, the name of the project, and they work some hours on that project, and this is the information. So now for the first query says, this is the name of the project. So we can get the name of the project from projects or for works on that have employees on the systems department, then that means works in as the project name has an employee, but we don't know the system, so we're going to need works and employees. We're going to join this with this to get the name of the department working less than five hours, so hours is still here. So we need two tables, employees and works. So then works on, we need it in a we would select those with hours less than five, and then we will join these with employees. But we want employees from the systems department, so we select where DID is systems. Now, from this, we just need the uh, project number, I mean the project name. So we project on this answer with PPID. And that will be the answer for my first query. So now for number two, it says list the name of employees with a salary greater than the manager's, their manager's salary. Then, uh, here we get the salary of an employee. Here we get the identification of the manager, but we don't see the salary of the manager. We will have to open table employees again for the managers and employee and compare the salaries. So then um, let's uh, open employees twice. So let's call that table employees and uh, let's assign that so we got employees and then let's get managers employees remember that in the textbook they use the um, row the symbol the Greek letter row that looks like a P to rename then I told you we can use the symbols to make an assignment so let's say that we we'll open the table twice, and then we need to join um, employees on one side, and then the other side we need the record of the managers. So then what we need to say is we join E with M, but we don't want an equity join. We want where in one side is the employee, so it's E dot the M underscore DID is the same as the in M dot EID. So that means in this side we have an employee record and in the other side we got the manager's record. And then now from here we just want to select so that's the selection those that the employee salary is greater than the manager's salary. Once we have that, we project. So the project, we need the name, right? So then we get the pi e that name. Okay, so now for number three, name of employees working on all projects. 
So this is one of the keywords, all projects that we're going to have to do some division. So then projects, uh, let's see. So all projects will be here that we need to divide that we work on to get the identification of those employees working on all PIDs. Then um, we need the following, so we need to say works on, then we do the pi on PID, comma PID. Why I'm doing this? Because if I leave hours, it will say employees that work on all projects the same number of hours. We don't want that, right? So it will leave, so, so we need to take away that only leaves employees working on all projects. So we add all attributes, or attributes needs to be constant. So we'll be employees, so we'll the same hours in all projects. And then here we divide this with projects. So remember that the attributes that are here to be able to be compatible with the division needs to be the attributes that are here. So here we need to do a pi on PID. So look at PID is the elements here. So when we do the division, this PID will go where we're going to get just the employees. Okay, so now we don't have the names. So then here we need to join this with employees. So then we join this with employees. And then finally we project that on the employee names, right? So this is what we have. So here we need a pi with the name. And that will be the answer for number three. So now for number four, is the name of employees making more than 100,000 and working on zero projects? Okay. So let's see. So here we have employees, we select them and their salary is greater than 100,000. Now here we will get the employee ID. So this is the identification of all employees making more than 100,000. And then in, if an employee works on a project, the identification is to be here. So now if we subtract this list of IDs, that means they are here and they are not here. So then we're going to get the employee, the, the employee identification of those that make more than 100,000 and not working on a project. So let's call that T1 and I will do the other notation. So remember the other notation is doing this. Instead of doing the column equal, we can do this for assignment and then we can call this my T1. So T1 has that. But I want the names. So the names are in table employees. Then I will do uh, T1 join with employees. And then on here, we can do the pi on the name. So this is the expression that is my answer. So we can make an assignment to answer. If we want it to be specific, but it's not really needed. Okay, the last question. Um, name of employees working on both project X and project Y. So this is an example of a common mistake because, let's see, we need names too, right? Because on projects, we got the employee identification and the names. So I could say, well, PID is project X and PID is project Y. That's not possible. That's an error. 
Why? Because PID can only take one value, so I cannot do PID equals to this and PID equals to that. That would not be possible. It works for an OR, but not for an N. So in the case of an N, do intersection. So then let's 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 get the employees works on or works on project X. So we do the selection and then we say PID is project X and then here let's get the identification because we only care about that employee identification and let's do the same here so we can say uh, that we will get the list of those here we got a sigma here is PID is project Y on um, works on so I was trying to copy the same thing here and then here we do the intersection on those two so this and this expression is the same even though this has horrible kind of writing there. works on project only difference is project x and project y so they are intersecting so these are the list of employees that work here and project y and here project x so let's assign that to T1. And then again, if I want the name, I will do something similar like here. So we go T1, we join that with employees. And then we project that with name. And then we get the answer. Thank you.